we're going to do here today is set up the tanks for the 365 aquaponic system. Nice little precipitation happening right now. So uh, rather than bore you with all of the fun work walking back and forth, I'm going to bring you back after we've moved cinder blocks and a few things like that. are now magically moved and what we've got is on either side we've got a hundred gallon stock tank and then in order to support the grow beds we've got these four cinder blocks on either side now there'll be precise measurements in the PDF but I eyeball these things and it's fine it's real forgiving of uh, stuff like that now one thing you'll notice is that with the Rubbermaid stock tanks this lip is a little higher than the cinder blocks, so what I'm going to do next is cut some 2x4, uh, uh, 2x3, and 1x3 to shim this up to the level. And I'm also going to be cutting 2x6s to length to support the base of the grow beds. So again, boring stuff, we'll cut back when we've got that done. So what we've done now is gone and cut a piece of 2x3 and a piece of 1x3, one for each of these columns. And these are approximately uh, 18 inches long, 20 inches long. And what that's going to do is raise it just enough so that you can hang over this lip. And, uh, These are two by sixes. Each one of these is 44 inches long, and I've cut the angles off the edges, and these are going to rest like that. And now, something like that. Here's our grow bed. And, uh, we're going to see how it fits. There she goes. And she gonna, she's going to hang over the edge here. What's going to happen is that the drain is going to be drilled through here and just come straight out into the tank. Now, we could spend a whole lot of time getting all of this even and have levels and everything. And levels are fun toys to play with. But frankly, at this point, shove that around. Uh, at this point, a perfectly viable option is to put about um, a quarter of inch of water in the bottom of this and then just level it itself because this at the end of the day is what you want to have be level. So we're going to now, the next step, uh, we'll do a break while we do all the boring moving stuff is drill the drain hole in, uh, in these things and then we're done with the tank. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of water in each of these and I got my leveling tools. I've got some extra 2x3 and 1x3 and I've got some shim. So if we look in here what we'll see is this guy is wet here and not wet there. And if you look at the pattern of the water, it's pretty even from left to right. It's just uh, needs to be boosted up on this back end. So I'm going to do that here real quick. Boost this up. Put another piece of wood. And we let it settle a bit. And that's pretty good. The one by three did it. So let's go to our next victim. This guy... He's heavy on this side, light on that side, and again, he's pretty even. Yay. So I may not have to do shims. But actually, 
what I can do here is I can simply remove. No, no I can't because apparently I already removed that one. So I am going to have to put an additional. Actually what I can do here is I can remove the 2x3 and simply put in a 1x3. Let's see if that will do it. bit here, a little bit there. If I really want to finesse it, since I haven't used my shims at all, I can use my shims to bump that up ever so slightly more to me there. And am I happy with that? No. Lesson is put more water in and then it would cover the bottom and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So I'm just going to what am I going to do? I'm just going to leave it like that because that's pretty even. That thin film of water, that's pretty even across the bottom. And what I know I'm going to do on this is I'm going to have a sludge layer of about an inch or two on the bottom. That's not terribly critical that it be absolutely level. But, uh, yeah, that's okay. Maybe I'll take that shim layer out. No, I won't. You can change your mind. Here we go to the third victim, and this is another one where there's a lot of water down here, not so much there. I do have a one by three in here that I can take out. Let's see what that does to it. It makes it better. It's pretty good. Cool. Last victim. And if you really were concerned, like I can see on this one, it's, it's ever so slightly to that side again. I have shims. I could use my shims to just ever so slightly bump up the level on the one side relative to the other side. Down here as well. And I'm not going as much because I don't have it in this far. One more. Boom. Pretty even. Good left to right. Did I use up all my shims? Yes, I did. So, let's see what this guy's looking like. This guy needs shims. So, I'm going to steal some of my shims over there. She, This one's actually looking relatively good from one side to the other. And I think putting these shims in on this side will be enough. Try this up there. This up here. Uh, that guy might want two shims. So he's even now on that side. He's a little bit cockeyed that way. I have more shims in the car and I'll just go shim it up. The next task, now that I've got everything to the position where it's going to be level, is to drill a hole in these so that they'll drain down below. So. Now we've got the drill. All the boring parts. Took place off camera. So, I like to use three quarter inch uh, pipe for my drains, my bell siphon and so forth. And in order to drill a hole for a three quarter inch pipe, you have to use a one inch drill bit. If you're going to be drilling a hole for one inch pipe, if you really like one inch pipe, you'll want to get a one and one quarter inch drill bit. And that'll fit real nice. Anyway, so I line this thing up and I know that I want to have my drain to one end. I don't want it all the way here because then I'll get choking from the sidewall. I don't want it too close into the middle because then this region won't get nutrients. So this is the perfect place. And there she is. And oh. 
we'll repeat that three more times and I will put my drill bit back in my drill. That's it.